be watching the Bobby and Barbara Peanuts show. Me and my husband, we show sure do. Tune in, y'all. We belong together, yeah, yeah. And you know that, and you know that we belong together. And you know that, and you know that, and you know that, and you know that, yeah, yeah, yeah. We belong together, and you know that, and you know that, and you know that, and you know that, and you know that. We belong together, and you know that, and you know that. What's going on? YouTube, it's your boy Pop your collar Bobby without the glasses. Hi, it's Barbara. Say, man, we vlogging, we have something to say. Take your glasses off for this one, man, because this is serious conversation, serious Sunday. And as you can see, Barbara's driving, serious Sunday, and these people can't drive. We, we vlogging. Calm down. Calm a save. Senor. I don't know. Hey, man, for you guys out there, hey, we finna tell, we finna talk about some real stuff. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a touch a, I'm gonna hit on a touchy subject and watch Barbara go off. We have to stop hating on each other, guys. We have to stop hating. I know time and time again, y'all hear about it. But we really have to stop. Life is too short, man. Each and every one of us can get out there and get anything we want. If you are not successful, stop blaming everyone else for your failure. You got two feet, two hands. You can get out there and go get it just like anybody else. So if you are not successful, stop blaming other people. I ain't saying everyone, but you have... It, we living in a day and age now. We living in a day and age to where people want to blame everyone else for their problems. When I was growing up, I, I, you know, it's a lot of people gonna say they the black sheep. I consider myself the black sheep because I was the one, I, four brothers, four sisters, I was the flunky, I always flunked. I didn't care about school, didn't like school. If anybody know me personally, they know, oh yeah, he flunked, he did this, he did that. But now, you know, it wasn't until my brothers and sisters called me the dumb one is when I changed my life and actually uh, started to pass and do other things and became a better person. You know, yeah, some of my brothers and sisters that were smarter than me or did whatever, they was, you know, you're gonna get rewarded. I never got jealous, I never got mad. I always said, you know what? If I wanna get rewarded too, I need to become better. I need to do better. These days, kids will blame other siblings. It's your fault that I'm not good. You left me, you went to college, you did this. What do they have to do? What do they have to do with you when you had the same opportunity as your other sibling? I'm just saying, preach on it, Barbara. These kids don't have the respect we had. They don't have the backbone that we had. They like to blame everybody else. They don't take responsibility for the crap that they've done. I just need to speak with some 17 and 19 year olds out there. I just want to know if you had a parent that paid all the bills, even when you had your little job, you didn't pay a bill? Still bought you shoes and clothes. Weed. Haircut. I paid bills when I was on What do you, I mean. I had to pay the water bill. I had to pay my own car note. Well, I didn't have a car. My first car was in my car. But I, I, had to pay the I think note. that's why I don't understand a lot of these kids. Cause I worked, went to school, and played three sports, and stayed on the A and B on the road, well, I see and skipped school. Well, I wasn't, I wasn't smart like you. So. I, I did that, and still, and my mom then took my whole chance. Yeah. Not once did I call the cops. Not once did I call. The these days, they get it all. They so small and they still.
still complain that it's not enough. And I'm like, see cars like this, this is what I vlog on that. You need to be it's around. Like, you, need, wrong. you need to be around kids that really didn't have anything to listen to their story. Cause even my kids, I ain't gonna lie, my kids are small. So when when we have other kids come over that that have less than what my kids have, they appreciate everything I'm doing. My kids don't appreciate what I do. How I cook for them all the time and I always trying to take them to do stuff and entertain them. We we living in a world now when when I was growing up. My parents didn't have to entertain me. Did your parents have to entertain you? No. My parents didn't have to entertain I was me. outside playing all day till the street light came on. With no shoes on. We ran around barefoot all day. I didn't get sick. I didn't, didn't get, get nothing to sleep. Well, I got sick. Yeah, I got I sick, but I didn't get, uh, you know, just common Drink from stuff. the water hose. Yeah, drinking In from the, the country, water hose. I was picking berries off the tree, not washing them. Yep, eating, eating didn't get sick. from the tree. My kids don't eat fruit, well my youngest eat fruit, but my oldest, he don't eat meat. he don't eat fruit, he don't eat vegetables. I mean, what kid don't eat oranges or apples? Like, dude, that is like normal, right? My oldest is like, I don't eat, I don't eat oranges. He won't eat an apple, he won't eat a strawberry. Like, man, what part of the game is that? It's, it's crazy. So, I don't know. I don't know. And then my dad, my mom, they was always at work. They didn't entertain us. We entertained ourselves. We went out and played with other kids. These days you have to, like my youngest is always, dad, I'm bored. Dad, I'm bored. Dad, I'm so bored. He say he bored so much, I'm thinking he's going to go out and rob a bank. And he's only seven. Like, dude, you can't be bored at this age, brother. But it's just, it's this whole generation, man, it's like zombies, cell phones, and they keep their head down and they cell phones or they ear, ear uh, headphones on. And I'm like, gosh, we didn't have all that. So what I, I wish we could push these kids back in time and, and make them have to live the life that we live so they can be like, whoa, you had it like that? Oh, no. Thanks, thanks oh, but, for everything you do. But when they're, but they think they know it all. You know, I used to tell my son that, oh, back in my day, back in my day. And he'd say, oh, well, this is not back in the day. Yada, 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 yada. We know, we know. That's crazy. Because they, they know it all. Yep. But, as soon as they get pulled over, first call, you gonna speed down in. Yeah. Compared to how you guys were raised or grew up, what's, what's the difference? Drop your comments and you got something to say, Barbara? Drop your comments. Because we're going to pick this back up soon. Yeah, we, what we're going to do is have a live. We're, we're going to have a live and discuss it and actually have people come in and talk about it. Because this is a touchy subject because uh, the youth, you, and you know, our youth, they're killing each 
other, the kids are, they're, they're just, they're killing, they're just killing, 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 killing. Like, you, you know, I've seen, you know, you heard, or whatever, growing up, you know, friends getting killed, or, but golly, it's like, man, it's crazy now. So, I'm gonna go ahead and let Barbara take us out this time. Man, you go ahead, because whenever I take us do, out, do, 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 do. we're out! You see what I'm saying?